What's up guys, Skyju here again with another video and today, i-review ko yung Flick PH Kundura mouse pad and I think everybody, ang nasa isip ng mga tao is it the same with the FPC 450 ng Endgame Gear? Kapareho ba? Mamiya ko na yung sasagutin <laughs> Okay, actually no, sasagutin ko na yun kasi I feel like yun na yung I guess the main comparison I can make. So, ina, itong Flick PH Condura Pad. Wait lang, pakita ko. It's very minimalistic, all black siya, wala siyang design. May tag lang siya dito. And yung nabili ko is like, um, is yung, ano ba to? Yung extended version. Okay? So, ito yung MPC 450. So, itong flick pay, o oh, sasabihin ko na, it's not the same. Uh, like, unang kita pa lang, like, uh, magkaiba na siya. Like, pinahiram lang tong MPC 450 sa akin. Like, nung binili ko tong uh, flick PH Condura Pad, parang nung tinest ko siya, but parang, it's not as fast. Hindi siya kasing bilis ng how people are saying the MPC 450 is. Kasi may mga nagsabi na kapareho to ng MPC 450. Uh, tinanong ko din yung uh, chinat ko din yung seller sabi nila pareho daw ng MPC 450 ang pinagkaiba lang is wala yung logo ng Endgame Gear pero uh, I was a bit hesitant or doubting kasi nung nakuha ko to pinag-test test ko parang it's lower than what I expected kasi yung sinasabi ng mga, ng mga reviews ng MPC 450 is Super bilis ng MPC 450, halos wala ng control. Tapos nung nagamit ko to, parang hindi naman ganun kabilis. Medyo may, kahit pa paano may control nga eh. Like, mababa lang yung static friction niya. Mababa yung static friction niya and yung initial friction. Pero may mararamdaman kang control sa dynamic friction. So, hindi siya super crazy fast na mabilis siya pero hindi siya yung how people are describing yung MPC 450. So, ayun nga. So, nilaro ko siya, tinest ko siya, tapos mabilis nga siya. It's a fast pad. Like, I consider it the best budget fast pad or the best budget Kondura pad right now. Pero, yeah, it's not the same as the MPC 450. So, ayun. Di ba nilaro ko siya? Parang bagal. Tapos, I had my doubts and everything. And then... Ayun, nakahiram ako ng MPC 450. And sa unang tingin pa lang, unang glance pa lang, magkaiba na. Like, yung itsura pa lang, nung weave, uh, hindi ko alam, hindi naman, di ata kaya ng phone ko makuwing. Anyways, basta, uh, paano ba papakita? Ayan, medyo ito yung tela nung MPC, ay, ng Flick PH, ng Durapad. And yung tela niya, hindi high-tech phone ko, sorry na guys. Tapos, ito yung tela or surface ng MPC 450. Kitang-kita na magkaiba siya. Iba yung pattern, iba yung, yung, pagka, yung knitting niya. So, um, ayun. Like, unang tingin pa lang, unang hawak pa lang, iba na. Medyo, even this is softer, med medyo rougher siya. Itong MPC 450, medyo mas, mas solid yung pakiramdam niya mas matigas. Tapos, yung weave pattern nga niya, iba pa, makikita nyo din naman. So, itong MPC 450, sobrang bilis talaga nito. Uh, compared, actually no, in general, this is like the fastest pad na I've tried. Halos walang dynamic friction, halos walang static friction talaga. Like, ang bilis niya, crazy fast. Ang nagkocontrol na lang talaga, is yung kamay mo. Kahit anong mouse with gamitin mo, kahit core pads pa yun na controlled pad siguro, ay na control mouse feet siguro, uh, uh, feel ko mabilis pa rin yun eh. I'm using, hindi, ito may Tiger Arc ko. Ito. Tiger Arc ones to. These are the control versions of the Tiger Skates. Mabilis-bilis pa rin siya kahit control mouse feet na yung gamit mo. So, feel ko kahit mag core pads ka, Uh, wala pa akong core pads. Like, I'm gonna wait for the core pads. Magpapadala. May magpapadala ata sa akin. Pero anyways. Ayun. Uh, ayun nga. Talagang magkaiba sila. And. Yeah. That's pretty much it sa comparison. Ito tang MPC 450. Just mini review. Ayoko na masyadong 
uh, medyo sawa na ako mag <laughs> review ng mousepad and matagal na din ako hindi nakaka-review ng mousepad so hindi ko na alam paano ulit basta ito super bilis niya maganda yung quality nainis lang ako sa stitching kasi yung stitching niya raised so tuwing magsaswipe ako ng ganun tumatama so nabibitin ako lalo na kung like medium to low sense user ka nagtatama talaga siya Ah, uh, das ayun, again, sobrang bilis niya, halos wala kang friction. Talagang titigil lang talaga is yung kamay mo mismo. Like you, halos wala nang titi, walang tigil yung mouse pad na to. Tsaka, so it's kind of hard a bit, I guess, on Valorant and CS kasi medyo maging shaky. Your aim will be extra shaky with this mouse pad. So, ayun lang. Sobrang bilis niya, guys. Pero it's fun, not gonna lie, it's fun and kung alam mo yun, Kung alam mong kontrolado mo, like kung gusto mo yung i-count na naging kumokontrol, hindi yung mouse pad, hindi yung mouse feet, hindi kung ano man, then this is a good pad. Kasi ikaw talaga yung in control. Nainis lang ako sa stitching. Yung rubber backing okay naman. Tapos yung okay nga nandito sa likod yung nandito sa likod yung tag para hindi nakakainis. Tapos ito hindi na masyado ano, maliit lang naman and parang hindi ko naman nararamdaman yung difference pag tumatama sa logo. But yeah, it is a super fast pad, Bare well, and I don't know what to say. There's barely any initial friction, there's barely any static friction, there's barely any dynamic friction. So talagang mabilis, kung mabilis at mabilis talaga, kita nyo naman. Yeah. Yan yung glide test niya. Kasi ito. Medyo, ayun o, medyo kumakapit talaga kahit. Hindi siya ganun kabilis. So, yun lang. Uh, hindi ko naman pambabash to or anything. I still like this pad. It is still yung nandito sa desk ko palagi. Uh, and the thing is... Um, actually, mention ko pa ba yun. Pero kasi, ibe. So, that's pretty much it for the intro of the video. Uh, or, I think what most people will be interested in. It's not the same as the MPC450. This thing, itong uh, Flick PH Condura Pad, medyo may control, like, mababa yung initial and static friction niya. Kung hindi nyo yun alam guys, initial or static friction is yung, uh, initial friction is yung mag, you're gonna go from point A, tapos mag-flick ka sa point B, or magta-tracking kang ganun-ganun. Yun yung, uh, yung paggalaw, yung initial, di ba? Yung pag-lift off mo, point A to point B. Uh, mababa, pero merong konti. Tapos, mas ramdam mo yung dynamic friction. Like, yung pag nagka-tracking ka, halimbawa sa Warzone or sa Apex, yung gumaganyan-ganyan, kaya diretsong movement. Yung, yung pumipigil sa'yo kapag nagsaswipe-swipe ka. That's the dynamic friction. Ramdam mo, may control siya. Uh, di, I, I don't know if control is a proper term, pero kasi parang medyo may, may konting control pa naman siya and uh, slowness, especially compared to the MPC450, Tapos, um, ano ba yun? And, ramdam mo kasi yung feedback sa mouse skates mo. Like, ang sarap, uh, kaya medyo mas makakontrol mo siya. Kasi, ramdam mo yung texture, yung surface, yung feedback sa mouse skates mo. Kaya, you can control it a bit. So, this, uh, itong malaking to, I think is around 700 to 800 pesos. Tapos, yung maliit na kalahati nito, yung 450 by... Uh, 400 lang is around 500 to 600 pesos. Nagbabago kasi depending pag nagsisale sa Shopee or sa Lazada. So, itong malaki is around 700 to 800 pesos or minsan 600. Parang it depends sa price. Uh, nagsisale, nagpabago-bago kasi. And pag magva-voucher ka pa or magamit ng coins. Basta mura to. Like, so it's like 800 and below to. Tapos yung yung, uh, yung kalahati nito, yung square lang is around 600 pesos, mga ganun. Uh, Ilalink ko na lang sa baba yung, yung Shopee or Lazada nito para ma-check nyo. Pero, yeah, overall, I think it's a good budget speed pad or a Kondura pad. Like, kung gusto mo makatry ng Kondura pad, I think this is the safest option na you can buy. Or, you want a speed pad, tapos you don't know where to start or wala kang masyadong uh, budget, I think this is a good pad. Like, uh, this is like one of my main pads then, especially kung wala akong sa mood mag slow pad, slow control pad. Gusto ng 
medyo mabilis-bilis pero hindi siya yung out of control. Ito yung gamit ko. Okay pa rin siya kasi may feedback nga. Like nararamdaman ko yung gaspang niya sa, sa skates ko. Kaya medyo na control ko. Lalo na kung medyo dinidiin lang ko ng konti yung mouse. Medyo, medyo mas bumabagal siya. Pero kahit mas bumabagal siya yung control, yung static friction niya, initial friction, yung, yung pag microcorrect na gano'n. Uh, mababa pa rin. So, kaya mo mag-microcorrect ng madali. Ang problema na nga lang, kung medyo beginner ka or hindi ka confident sa aim mo, medyo shaky yung aim mo, like nangangarag ka or high pressure situations, gusto mo mag-clutch, medyo, alam mo, ma-off ka nga. Pero ayun, I think it's a good product, especially for the price. And, I think, yeah, it's a better buy than the MPC450 in my opinion. Kasi, number one, it's, so much cheaper, it's like 50% cheaper. Uh, eh, tapos ito pa, diba? It's like, eight, yung MPC 450 is like 1,100 pesos. Eh, isang square lang yun. Yung ganito, yung square lang na yun. Sa endgame gear. Yung sa Fantech, hindi ko kasi alam kung super pareho sila nung sa Fantech. Basta ito yung sa endgame gear, mga 1,100 to eh. Tapos yung sa Fantech, mga 800 or 900. Pero even then, um... Kung gusto mo talaga ng Condura pad, eh, ito nga, alam mo yun, it's twice as big, or twice. Oh, medyo mas mataas lang ng konti, sobrang konti, sobrang konti, pero it's pretty much the same height. Eh, tapos, twice as ano pa, edi, alam mo yun, edi, the safer buy pa to. I think, super sulit tong 50H Condura pad, pero, ayun nga. Kung ang gusto mo is yung exact copy ng MPC 450 ng Endgame Gear or ng Fantech, I, I don't think this is the the pad for you. If you want a budget speed pad, like you want to try a speed pad, pero hindi mo alam saan ka magsisimula, or you wanna try a Condura pad, hindi mo alam, ka, hindi mo alam saan magsisimula, I think this is a safe buy for a Condura pad. Uh, hindi nga siya, yeah, it's not super, super, it's fast. It's definitely fast. Pero hindi siya yung nakakabaliw fast like the MPC 450. So anyways, that's it. Um, quick video lang or... Ano ba ito? Magta 10 minutes na nga ito. Sorry guys kung napa... Dal-dal ako masyado or... Hindi ganun ka-detailed. Medyo matagal na ako hindi nag-review ng mouse pad eh. So medyo rusty ako. So ayan. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe. Peace out.